So first on the chopping block is this portable battery case. To be honest, I don't know who it's made by. There's no uh, branding on the box, but it does come from a wonderful world of foreign English. Take a look at this gem on the inside. What you choose is a portable electric source and furthermore is a safe and convenient life beginning. And those people certainly do look as if their life is beginning in a wonderful electrical sort of way. Uh, this is the case itself. And I'm not gonna lie, and you will probably expect this, it is a phone battery case which means that it is fat and chunky. And it doesn't weigh too much, but when you combine the weight with this phone case and the phone, it is gonna be fairly weighty. A couple of instructions down here at the bottom just telling you about the capacity, which is 5,000 milliamps. The Galaxy SA is around about 3,000 milliamps. That would make you assume that you would get 150% battery charge, but it's never quite the case. You always lose a certain amount of charge when transferring it from one thing to the other. There's even a better English on the instruction booklet. Uh, more examples include, designed for a phone, make your phone special style. Not sure a battery case is ever gonna make your phone stylish. To fit it into the case, it does require a little bit of technique, but once you understand how to do it, it's fairly straightforward. You get your Galaxy S8, slot it into the bottom there, uh, making sure it's gone in. You still have it protruding at the top here, but you just press firmly and that will click it in place. That wouldn't damage the case uh, or the phone. And that's pretty much your phone battery case within the Galaxy S8. That's no battery case, that's a space station. Built in high capacity lithium polymer battery, the double standby time for the phone. And if you look at the front of it, it doesn't offer that much protection for the actual screen. The screen is here and the battery case lip doesn't actually reach up to the screen. So if you maybe dropped it flat on there, you could still crack it. So yeah, we've got a tiny bit of protection on the front, plenty of protection on the back of course. To charge it, all you would do is press on this power button for a prolonged period of time. It will show up as a colour. So I haven't got much charge left on the battery here, but you can now see that it is charging the device. It will charge your phone in around about two and a half hours from flat. It will charge the phone case itself when you plug that in, in around about four and a half hours. And you get, I would say, maybe about 120% charge. I did a test where I had this phone plugged in. Well, I charged it in the main socket on a Tuesday morning, plugged it into this and used the charge from this case. And I think I finally lost juice on the whole thing by about Friday lunchtime. So you're probably going to get about what's that uh, 72 hours worth of phone usage but obviously that does depend on how much you use your phone as well oddly it's changed font maybe to direct your eyes to this a uh, wonderful lyrical phrase integrated circuit design effectively avoid short circuit or overtime charge even under extreme conditions of wrong operating presumably that means as long as you don't stick your finger in one of the charging ports you're probably going to be fine is it recommended Usually I would say not, but this is such a cheap price, and I'll leave a link in the video description on where you can get this. I think it's $30, 30 US dollars, and you'd usually buy these things at around, what, $60 plus, so it is an absolute bargain. It seems to work fine. I've had no problems with it. Um, it is not attractive, I'm going to be honest about that, and it does make your phone a lot bulkier and bigger, but that does hark back to days of when you used a phone, which is just bigger and bulkier. Obviously the Galaxy S8 is quite bulky to begin with, but I can still use it in one hand there, it's not too difficult. Um, it does feel heavy though, I'm not going to lie there. And here's the thing, do you really need to have this phone case on your phone, or do you just want to carry this around as a charger when you need it? In which case, then you just have a portable battery charger for that particular thing. If you're maybe in an extreme situation where you're camping and you really need to uh, not carry that much weight and not have extra things around, then this could be useful. But I see a limited use for these, again, unless you're using it very intensively over the day and you just don't have anywhere to put a portable battery charger. But price-wise, very competitive, very good. Uh, just one more thing, to take the phone out of the case requires a bit of technique. Best by pushing the phone out from the outside there and then, then lifting it out of the port because it's quite a rigid port here and you risk snapping the phone 
if you uh, are too vigorous with it. But there we are. Would I recommend it? In certain situations? Absolutely. So uh, check out the video description and if you fancy this one, then do make a purchase. Oh, and I should also mention that that battery case does come in iPhone format. Unfortunately, the chap sending me this product to review sent me an iPhone 6 Plus case. I only have an iPhone 7, so uh, yeah. And doesn't really quite there work there for me. Uh, it advertises itself as a 200% charge there on a 7,000 milliamp battery. Again, my test didn't give me a 200%, it was more like 150. But on an iPhone, where I think the battery is, lasts a lot longer, you might be able to get this to last from a Monday to a Friday, so a whole working week. So something to consider there if you're looking at the iPhone version. And again, very cheap for a possible battery phone charging case.